Hi all and welcome to Southern Cross Amateur Astro and our video user guide for APT where this time we're going to be looking at framing masks which got a small update in version 4.40 so let's get into it now framing masks are one of uh, several small features of APT that are only available to those who are supporting the ongoing development of, of the program by purchasing a key and I do highly recommend doing that as it will allow Ivo and Maria to continue the development of the program at a great pace. So purchase a key for the price of a few cups of coffee, uh, it could be well worth it for you. So to get to focus, uh, sorry, to framing masks, uh, on your tools tab you'll find the framing mask there, which brings up this little box. Um, I'm going to be working here on some images I took over several nights in uh, June uh, simply because I'm not getting clear nights to do new ones. So, uh, this is NGC 6188, uh, the Dragons of Adder. So at the moment I'll go first into settings and here um, framing masks put a small circle around an object you click on on the screen. You can set the radius. Um, I like a slightly bigger radius so I'll go out to 7. Uh, a little bit thicker lines and a new feature is to set the color of the rings. Um, the old version 4.30 uh, there wasn't this to select and if you leave it blank here it just uses the default skin you're using for APT and I found with this setup I've got here at the moment on a monochrome image it doesn't work very well they're very hard to see. So you can set a color uh, just for this example I'm going to put in red which is FF and so you need to use the hex code for this um, and then click OK. Now for hex codes uh, I'll drop some links in the description for some sites that you can use to find the different hex codes that you need. And the hex codes is just these numbers on the side that uh, without the uh, hashtag on it. So you just pick any colour you want to use and you can put that into APT and that will be the colour you get. So that's the colour settings. Now I don't have any masks created so I'm going to create a new framing mask and this one I'll just call it what it is NGGC6188 uh, um, I'll save that one now so now I have a mask saved as that one though I haven't actually created a mask yet so then you have um, underneath that you have the meridian flip and this is for if you're framing up on the opposite side of the meridian to what the original image was taking on it'll rotate the image 180 degrees to match the new position in the sky and you can set it to be a blinking mask so that every couple of seconds it will blink on and off and uh, allow them to be more easily seen then of course you have save and delete um, save will s saves the current mask and delete deletes the mask simple as that and then import and export so you can do these on a different PC export them from there and import them onto your imaging PC so all you do to make a mask is simply pick several locations on your image that you're using as the base I'll go this one here that one there and I'll pick one down here somewhere So there we go, I've picked three stars. And as you see, they come up red. Uh, if I hit blinking, they will flash red. And if I decide I want a different color, I just go in and change the color. Maybe go for a nice yellow this time and see how that works. And so there you go. And again, you can have them blinking. So now you can save that mask. And whenever you select this mask, this is what's coming up. So that's my mask on this image. Uh, to get out of framing mask simply click the X and they're gone so now I'm just going to switch up to another image that I took four nights later uh, let's see if I can find another nice HA one there we go there so you know I take this out and I've moved on to target um, like I said these ones I didn't use a framing mask I just did it visually stuck my camera on the back of my telescope twisted it and said yeah that looks about right it's lined up and went away with it I should have used a framing mask as you'll see in a second but all you do is you, you take an image like this on your new night uh, go to framing mask then you select the mask that you created previously and as you can see things aren't quite right because the stars don't line up 
Uh, my camera needs to be rotated a few degrees around to get the stars in the correct position. So that's what a framing mask can do to you. Pointcraft and GoTo++ can get you right on target, but it can't tell you the actual framing, whether it's spot on. So what you do now is I'd go rotate my camera a little, take another image, see if it's correct, rotate it until it's lined up pretty well spot on. And of course I'll show you what you'd get if you had a uh, meridian flip, if we're doing on the other side, I just need to rotate this, oops, 180 degrees, pardon me. So as you see that's well out because it's uh, the other side of the meridian. All I do is click on that one and again it changes the mask and still tells me I'm out. So that's what that does for the meridian flip. So that's really it to framing masks. Uh, something quite simple, quite handy and only available to those who have purchased a key. So I'm going to end this video here, saying, so thanks for listening and I will see you in the next video. I wish everyone clear skies and uh, I'll talk to you later. Bye.